U.S. Secretary of State has accepted the need to cooperate with the Syrian army in the fight against Islamic State in Syria. Now, he was speaking in Belgrade at a summit for the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe. Without the ability to find some ground forces that are prepared to take on Daesh, this will not be won completely from the air. If we get a political transition in place, we empower every nation and every entity to come together, the Syrian army, together with the opposition, together with all the surrounding countries, together with Russia, the United States, and others, to go and fight Daesh. Well, despite America admitting the need to cooperate with the Syrian army, it still says President Assad must go while a former NATO Supreme Allied Commander, General Wesley Clark, told RT that uniting forces with the Syrian president is essential. He spoke to Larry King in Politiki. Yeah, a new force will be helpful, but it won't be decisive. To be decisive, you've got to unite all the forces in Syria against ISIS. And that means the Assad government's forces, it means the Russian uh, forces that are there, it means all the rest of the jihadis, including the Free Syrian Army that's backed by the United States, all of them against ISIS. And uh, to do that, you need a political agreement on the future of Syria. How much should the United States be involved? We broke the milk bottle when we uh, took Saddam Hussein out. You know, at the time uh, when uh, America was about to attack, Saddam Hussein said, you'll be opening the gates of hell if you remove me. And I think that people didn't really understand in 2003 what Saddam meant when he said gates of hell. But uh, we know now. So the Middle East is in turmoil. There's lots of insecurity and fear everywhere.